my gosh. All right, get you a heaping knife full of Nutella. We're gonna make an amazing fried banana dessert today. Just kind of keep it all in the middle like that. That's fine. Um, these are the burrito size tortillas. You wanna make sure you get the big ones unless you wanna like cut up your bananas into smaller pieces, but this is the size you need to do a whole banana. And I like a lot of Nutella. Oh yeah. Yum. Now, stick a nanner on there. And stick a nanner on there. All right, now we're gonna wrap this thing up. I'm kind of breaking the banana as I go to. Okay, that looks pretty good. Kind of tuck it in. I'm gonna pre-break this banana. I kind of want it straight. It's easier that way. You guys ever seen those people at Chipotle that like fill up your burrito like crazy and you're like, how in the world are they gonna close this? And then they do. I really want to learn their skills. Okay, now that we have this, let's stick it on a frying pan and get it nice and crispy. All right, grab your cast iron skillet, fill it with some oil, set that in there, and let's fry these bad boys up. All right, flip those over sideways. Only takes about 15 to 20 seconds on each side. Okay, let's get those sides. Let's see, where's a little bit of white showing? Just kind of turn it on its side, turn it on its side. All right, let's drain these onto a paper towel. Oh man, those are nice. Beautiful. Now that those have hardened, man, those are crunchy. Hear that? Oh man. Okay, so put them right next to each other. Now, I want to get some cinnamon. First step. Beautiful. Grab a dash of some cane sugar. Next, you want to grab some chocolate syrup. And then you want to grab some uh, caramel, some caramel. It's looking so good. And if you like nuts, I like to do some nut topping. I'm just gonna get a handful of that and just sprinkle it on. All right, and then let's do, just for funsies, we're gonna do some gold sprinkles. Sprinkle that on there. And last but not least, And whipped cream. All right, let's let this cool off and enjoy. Oh my goodness, okay, this thing is cooled down. I'm gonna turn this so you guys can see inside here and listen too. Oh my goodness. Let's see what this looks like. You guys ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna pick up this half. Get a little bit of whipped cream on it. I'm gonna give it a shot. That should be good. Mmm. Wow. I'm impressed with myself on this one. That is so good, guys. You have to try this. Man. All right, we're gonna mash these bananas up. Three bananas. This banana cream pudding just made it with the the way you do on the box. So I think it's like three cups of milk and the banana pudding. Okay, let's mix that together. Get that nice and blended in. Then we're gonna grab four ounces of whipped cream. Actually, that's eight ounces. But you know what? Let's do it. 
That sounds good right there. And blend that together. That's a nice mixture right there. Nice and chunky from the bananas. Okay, now set that aside. Grab your 9 by 13 glass baking cake sheet. And we're going to layer this with graham crackers. Just like that. And we're going to do the side walls as well. Two more. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to pour half of this mixture in here. I actually got this recipe from one of my Facebook fans, so shout out to you. You know who you are. If you guys have any recipes you want me to try on my page, I will gladly try it. I love making new things, and if you have a family favorite, something you love or something you've thought about trying, just send it to me in a message. I'd love to try it out. Okay, let's do another layer of graham crackers. Beautiful. Can we get one more little row in there? Ooh, how about we do this? Break it up. Boom. Yeah, it's like a puzzle. Okay, but almost a full bag of graham crackers. Or box. All right, let's pour the rest of that mixture in here. Man, that looks good. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. All right, spread that out. We're gonna put this in the freezer, let it thicken up, and then we're gonna try it out. Wow, that looks good, guys. Nice and hard. Okay. I'm gonna grab one more graham cracker. I'm gonna kind of crumble it up. I'm gonna spread that dust on here just to make it look pretty. All right. Beautiful. Okay, now let's try to grab a slice. That looks like it's gonna work. Ooh, look at that, guys. Whoa, man. I'm going to put some Ready Whip on there. Hmm. All right, let's dig into this. Graham cracker layers are nice and soft. Hmm, here we go. That is very, very tasty. Thank you for sending this recipe. Man, if you guys have any other recipes you want me to try, I'm all for it. I love me some desserts. Now when you eat the rest of this, keep it in the freezer and always serve it frozen because it'll taste better, pro tip. But wow, guys, this is so good. Look at that. Mmm. All right, today we are making some banana Snickers. But we're just going to cut these bananas in half. I'm going to slide this across, grab a baking sheet, and I'm just going to place these bananas right on there. And you don't have to use a baking sheet because we're not actually baking this, but just something flat that has sides that you can catch any of the loose ingredients that may fall off. Okay, next step, we got the creamy peanut butter. I love me some peanut butter. So you're going to grab that little banana half and put some of that on there. Spread it nice and even. Beautiful. Just set that down. And you're just going to want to keep artistically spreading that peanut butter on these banana halves. That is looking good. All right, that is looking good. Now I got some Sunday syrup, the caramel. So I'm just going to drizzle that on here. We're making the Snickers bars ingredients, so just want to get all that in there. Oh yeah! And if you're trying to really go healthy on this, you could use the sugar-free caramel, but I like my sugary. Now we're gonna use some nut topping. 
Really, it's just peanuts for Snickers, but it, this has some pecans in it. I thought that'd be kind of nice. I like pecans a lot, so I'm just gonna make my own version of this. And just drizzle a little bit on there. If you don't like nuts, you can skip the nuts, but you know, I'm not really making a Snickers at that point, so. This is for the Snickers lovers. Now, I have a half cup of melted semi-sweet chocolate. Now, you could do um, dark chocolate for this as well. I think that would be really good. But me and my wife really love the milk chocolate. I'm just kind of drizzling that on here. And I melted this with some oil too to make it not burn in the microwave. Man, look how good that looks. I would eat these right now. They're ready. Okay, looks good. Now, we're gonna top it with just a little bit more of the nuts. Sprinkle that on there. I'm gonna put it in my hand so I can kind of gauge it a little bit better. Yeah, extra nutty. Okay, that's looking good. Now let's put this in the freezer for about two hours and these will be nice and hard and ready to bite into. Oh man, those looked so good. Wow. Man, those bananas are hard as a rock. It was only two hours. That is so cool. Okay, let's try this out. I love sweets. So the fact that this is like somewhat healthy and I get to eat this whenever I want and not get, you know, too many calories in, this is great. Let's try it. That was good. In my mind, I was like, let's see how close this is to a Snickers. And then I tasted a banana, and it was like banana overload. But then I realized it's such a good blend of that peanut butter and banana chocolate. Man, that's a great snack. You guys gotta try that one. All right, we got our two bananas. We're gonna make a really good, healthy chocolate peanut butter bark. Yum, yum, yum with bananas as the base. You ready for that? Quit eating my bananas. So we're gonna get two bananas. You want them to be pretty ripe. So I found some good ripe ones. Just gonna slice all that up. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. And then you could use a regular knife, but I like to use my Ulu knife from, I was about to say Italy, from Alaska. Made out of real bone. And really? hand carved by a local Alaskan. Fun fact. All right, we got a pan with parchment paper and we are gonna get down to business. So let's get these bananas lined up. You want them touching each other. You don't want any gaps if you can. Just finish this row and we'll be good. Let's take this one. Yeah, all right. Now that we have that, what you wanna do is get about a cup of peanut butter peanut butter oh yeah and I melted it you don't have to I just think it makes this a lot easier but you're just gonna kind of drizzle that all along the banana rows and get and then your, use the sharpest knife you have get the sharpest knife you can oh wait I have a spatula right here oh, okay. you guys always told me to use this thing and I I got it just for you guys and then I forgot to use it how crazy am I Okay, now I'll spread that out evenly. Oh my gosh. It already looks good, right? You're probably gentle though, right? Yeah, it'd be pretty gentle. I just get excited. Okay. Okay, now a bag of um, dark chocolate chips, probably like 10 ounces, I think. Add some oil and melt it on there. And you just want to pour that right on top of there. No rhyme or reason. You just want to get it all in there. Now that that's on there, let's kind of cover that up a little bit. It's okay if these mix just a little bit. Just kind of spread that love all across. Now, next step, what you want to do, you want to grab that cutting board that we had. And I have some roasted peanuts. About, I don't know, half a cup or so. I'm gonna take my hammer and I'm gonna beat it, crush it, smash it. That looks pretty good. 
Okay, now let's bring this back. Mm. All right. I know what you're gonna do. Oh yeah. Just stop. Now I'm gonna kind of do this by hand because I want to be able to control it more. Okay, and then last step, if you want, I'm gonna add some salt to this. Just a little bit. Just a not too much, just some real chunky salt. Give it that sweet and salty. All right, now let's put this in the freezer for an hour and it should be super hard and ready to snack on. Oh my goodness, look how perfect it looks. It's so awesome. Just kind of peeling it off right now. I wanna show you the back side of this, it looks so cool. Whoa, well there you go. That looks amazing. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Just breaks right apart and flip it back over. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Look at that. And then you just grab a piece and you try it. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Salty, sweet, everything you could want. And healthier. Mmm. All right, it's puff pastry time. Back at it again with another great puff pastry recipe. This one I might be the most excited about. Let's grab that. I'm gonna layer another one on top of this. Nothing crazy. Now we're gonna grab our pizza cutter and we're gonna make some strips. All right, now we got our bananas. We're gonna just carve the middle of this out with the back of a spoon. Not all the way through, just enough. Now that we have that, I got some Nutella that I melted and I put it into a little plastic bag and I'm gonna make a little piping bag out of it. All you have to do for that is just cut the end of this bag open and you have a nice piping bag so get your piping bag you want to just drizzle that Nutella in the boat just like that try not to do too thick of a line but it's all gonna get covered by the puff pastry anyway That is looking tasty. Final step of this is wrapping them up. So we're gonna wrap them up with these puff pastries. And be careful that I don't break the bananas. There's one. Just connect those together. There we go. Guys, there is your banana puff pastries, Nutella. All right, we're gonna put this on a parchment paper, just like that. And we're gonna do that again. Now let's put this in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes. Whoa, guys, these turned out so cool for my first time. Man, nice and golden brown. Okay, I think you just like pick it up. I don't really know. Let's try it. Whoa. It tastes like, the inside tastes like banana pudding kind of. And that hazelnut, that's so good. Let me break it open. Wow, guys. You have to try that. That is a good little treat right there. A good little treat. So hot.